If pieces of wood had a say, before they were cut and sanded, bolted and bent, if they had a say on what they would become, they'd probably choose to be part of a project like this drift boat, formed by the hands of Cameron and Carter Britt. The Kelly Walsh High School seniors constructed the boat in Lucas Dow's cabinet making class. Both boys say it was a rewarding yet arduous task. The plans seem like it just go together, but I mean there's a lot of things that you run into along the way, so it's nice having a finished product after all the problems that we had to solve. I guess the best way to describe it would be a relief that it's finally done and um, nothing's broken and it should hopefully float. The Brits chose to build a drift boat based partly on a recommendation from Dow. Dow says he's never had a project of this magnitude come out of one of his classes. In the past, a big project has been a dresser or a desk or a gun cabinet. Never anything, you know, 17 feet long and 5 foot wide. The construction of the boat has been a step-by-step -step process. Cameron and Carter started with the supports, added the sides, then attached them to the boat's stem. The boat's ribs and back went on next, followed by the bottom. And then after that, we flipped it over and started on interior work with the deck boards. In between that, there's fiberglass and resin and then there's uh, trim pieces that run on the bottom on the inside and outside of the bottom. They're the black pieces that you can see on the outside. Um, and then once it was flipped then we put the, the gunnels on which is the trim piece that runs on the top the whole way on both sides. Uh, put bolts through every rib and every gunnel to connect it all together and then interior work like deck boards went in tables and seats completed the project. Cameron and Carter, who are both excellent students, ranked 16th and 19th respectively in Kelly Walsh's senior class of 338, also enjoyed the time spent working with each other. It's nice having my brother working with me because we can uh, get a lot more done. Well, there's always struggles, obviously, the whole sibling fights and rivalry, but um, definitely taught, taught me patience and it's good to have him work with me because he's smart and He's helped uh, along the way. And it's nice having him at home and stuff because there's times where we're ordering stuff online and stuff and it's a lot easier when he's there with you the whole time. It's good to have him be close to you, uh, not just in the shop because um, sometimes conversations transpire um, all the way at home or in the mornings or you know at lunchtime. So it's good to be able to talk about it throughout the day as opposed to just in shop class. It's probably one of the most rewarding experiences of my educational career. Um, not only is it a, a, a very large project, but uh, just seeing these two brothers come together for the common cause of building this drift boat. It's been very rewarding. And um, what, what I'm most proud of is I haven't set one nail or driven one screw on this. I mean, they, they occasionally ask me for some advice, but it's been 100% their you know, labor. And um, all I do is unlock the door and turn the lights on. The Brits will both attend the University of Wyoming in the fall. And while neither has plans to make woodworking or boat making into a career, they will hold on to the lessons learned from the process. I may not be building drift boats the rest of my life. It's, there's stuff that I learned along the way, like problem solving and uh, just different responsibilities that I learned through it. So now that it's a finished product, what's the summer plan for the Brits' new drift boat? Hopefully be fishing on it as much as we can in the North Platte and maybe take it to Thermopolis and into the Bighorn and try and get it on as many rivers as possible. That's what this wood became, a semester of hard work, a summer of freedom, a lifetime of lessons learned.